If the court tries to stop Tunumbu from being sworn in, if the court tries to stop Tunumbu from being sworn in, that will bring problem to Nigeria, according to Olubamiji Adeyosho. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Asibaji Tenebo of the All Progressive Congress is set to be inaugurated as the President of Nigeria on May 29th. This news is not new to anyone who has been following the political landscape of Nigeria. However, there have been concerns about the possibility of a court injunction preventing his inauguration. In an exclusive interview with the Tribune paper, Nigerian lawyer Olubamiji Adeya should dismiss any possibility of a court injunction stopping the inauguration of the President-elect. He confidently stated that no court of the land has the power to stop the integration of the president-elect. Adeyashu's statement is a reassurance to the supporters of Asiwaju, Asiwaju Ahmed Balatunumbu and the All Progressive Congress that the integration will go ahead as planned. It also highlights the confidence of legal experts in the Nigerian judicial system to uphold the constitution and ensure a peaceful transition of power. Had it been... Okay, take for instance, some people are clamoring that before you can become president, you must win 25% total votes cast in Abuja. It is a fallacy that Tunibu did not have the required score. The truth according to the constitution is, is the truth according to the constitution is that to win an election in Nigeria, you must have 25% of the vote total cast in two third of all the states of the federation, including O and Abuja. What the law is saying is that in certain circumstances, you regard Abuja as a state for the purpose of counting. No court will stop the president today from being sworn in because he won with 30 states. The court will not do something that will bring problem to the country. Tribune paper quoted the lawyer as saying during the interview. Well, okay, this particular issue... Um, This particular, should I say this particular, uh, what's it called? This particular issue now, when they talk about, now courts, now you go decide. Uh, now still courts. Since they say, they say now courts, make the man allow the courts now. Whether you are a lawyer, you are a son, you know BDCJN. You know BDCJN, so you must... You can allow me the courts to use their hand. Give verdict on this particular issue. Hmm? Alright, look at this charge of being lawyer. Which PRB, which means Nigeria is a lawless country. Who is Tunubu? Is it greater than Nigeria? If you ask me, who I go ask? You people manipulated the result of the election, but there was no problem in the country. I people went to court and now you came to say rubbish, meaning that if the right thing is done in Nigeria, there will be a problem in the country. That is what you're trying to say. And again, that is also, that's also, that also means that you do not regard the judiciary in this country because you are now afraid. Now then, sabi you, whatever they are, that them sabi you. Why problem? Are you the court or the judges? Oh, the, okay. Are you the court or judges? You people have been making inflammatory statements, causing problems here and there. If any problem raises at all, if at all, the court stop him and any life is lost in this country, meaning they goes, then you should be held responsible. The thing is, courts never give their verdict. All the time, they talk, no follow. And they tell you, now courts never come as I can't talk. So if you not like, make it one, one thousand and one person come aside with their restrictions. Okay, you people manipulated the result of the election, but there was no problem in the country. Okay, I think I've said that before. I am surprised that this is coming from a lawyer. These are extreme by gods who have allowed the motion to rule their integrity. When section 285 for the constitution said 180 days. Huh. So only him 130 of 36 states. Or as 16. Carry over lawyer. Carry over. Huh. No jurisdiction court in Nigeria can stop the swearing in of Asiwaju come 29th May. Okay, let's keep watching. You lie, sir. Tunubu is no bigger than Nigerian democracy. Only a corrupt lawyer will make this kind of statement. Whatever be the case, we are going to find out. Hmm? Whatever be the case. Is it that will be the problem? May the court say so? 
go and prepare. Okay, you are plotting destruction for the true democracy in the country and many politicians will sink with it. The military were patient enough at all those shameless rubbish from these senseless and greedy political class individuals. Some was a problem is hungry with his tribe, so may God release problem on top of his on top upon his tribes rather. The problem that that will come is if they swore okay, the problem that will come is will be more if they swore him because he has not won the elections. The better Nigeria is no longer won, we need to go our separate ways. In a country where there's problem already, why would someone be just be talking as if Nigerians are fools or something? Now, what kind of problem could this man be talking about? And if it is civil unrest, will it come out when it starts? I'm not in support of anybody, any bloody revolution in my country, but some people are making mistakes to think that if it happens to start, some section of the country should be spared. Everyone will suffer it, so let the tribunal give fair judgment for peace to reign. Yes, so some people think they're protected. Now they said, if you know they for presidential family, and you know, say in the family, they don't get private jets to jet out of the country in case anything starts. Make you do a thing. Make you know, follow them. Do this magomago. Okay. The court is incompetent to attempt anything near such. And will never try such as stop swearing in. Yes, any such attempts surely will bring the stringest and international national problem capable of the breach of national and international peace. The court must not try Breaching swearing in as it will be tantamount to be a national and international peace. All right. If they don't hand over to P2B to cause a very big problem to Nigeria, Nigeria will scatter. <laughs> Oga, okay, this is the way you talk. Not be me talk more. This is not my handwriting. Okay. If the court tries to deny the win of the election, his mandate that will bring peace. Let the problem come to Nigeria. Nigeria is hungry of such problems already. What kind of problem are you talking about? If Nigeria wants problem, we the Igbos we are ready. Huh. Okay. Um I don't show Laba Miji my problem from the moment you are making this statement be your portion. Ah uh-uh. ah. Hey you never reach like that now. Because you have forgotten so soon that the purpose of the protest, may God have mercy on some of the poor masses, that he has chosen to be honest because none of their relatives or family members were killed. Look at Nigeria in every week. We have not less than 150 people being killed or kidnapped. And why are we still ignorant? My dear, now that one, they bust my brain. That is why I keep saying that. One day, just one day, everything will be clear. All right, and this must have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.